Hey there, this is Kritesh and welcome to TradeWinds YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about portfolio backtesting. So portfolio backtesting is a recent tool offered by TradeWinds portal where you can backtest your portfolio and find out how it would have performed during a specific time period if you have selected few stocks. So in this video, I'm going to give you a quick demo of how you can use our portfolio backtesting tool. Now, this is a very powerful tool because using this tool, you can find out how your portfolio would have performed in different scenarios. For example, let's say if you have invested before demonetization, before COVID-19 crash, or even during a specific time period, how your portfolio would have performed and how much returns you have got. Now, in order to use portfolio backtesting, first you need to go on our portal that is portal.tradebrains.in and next you need to log in. It's free, so simply sign up using your Google or your email. So once you log in, your next step is go to tools and select portfolio backtesting. So in portfolio backtesting, you can see four of the most important fields here. The first selection is time period. Here you can select whether you want to see returns year on year or month on month. So let's start with year on year. Next, you need to select dates. That is the date between which you want to see how your portfolio would have performed. So let's say we, are, we start with 1st January 2015. So simply click on date and go to 1st January 2015. And next you need to find the end date that is the date on which your portfolio stops so end date can maximum be the last trading date and for simplicity let's take it as 26th november 2020 and then you need to enter your initial investment amount it can be anything 10,000, 20,000, 1 lakh or whichever amount you wanted to invest so let's say here we are keeping rupees 1 lakh as the initial amount next you need to create your portfolio so let's say we are keeping four stock initially the first is sdfc bank second it can be infosys Third, we are taking Asian Paints and fourth, we are taking Reliance. You can add stock or remove stock, whichever you want in this table. And next, you need to allocate money to your portfolio. So here you can see in the portfolio one, we have given 50% allocation to HDFC Bank, 20% to Infosys, 15% to Asian Paints and 15% to Reliance Industries. Now you can also click here and change the allocation. So let's say we want to give 30% here then it total amount should be 100% it cannot be greater than 100% and your allocation also cannot be less than 100% so always make sure that the sum of all the allocation is 100% now let's say this is the initial allocation or let's say you are keeping 20% here and 10% here so basically it means that out of 1 lakh rupee initial amount you have invested 50,000 in HDFC bank 20,000 in Infosys 20,000 in Asian Paints and 10,000 in Reliance Industry in the first portfolio. Similarly, in the second portfolio, you have a different allocation. Let's say here you have allocated 25%, 40%, 15%, 20%. And finally, in the third portfolio, you have allocated different amount. Here you have given 20% to HDFC Bank, 40% to Infi, 20% to Asian Paints and 20% to Reliance. So your portfolio with the same stocks can be different based on the allocation that you have given to your stocks. Now let's see the magic of backtesting. So if you click on backtest, it will give you the results how your portfolio would have performed. So it starts with the basic allocation that is how you have allocated. So here you can see that in the first portfolio you have given 50% to HDFC bank, 20% to Infosys, 20% to Asian Paints and 10% to Reliance. And similarly you can see the initial allocations in other two portfolio. Next if you go to results, it will show you how your portfolio has performed. So basically you can see your initial amount was rupees 1 lakh and it has grown to 296,894 in the first portfolio. So your overall return in the 5 year will be 196.89% and if you convert it in CAGR that is compounded annual growth rate it's 20.23%. Similarly, you can see how the other portfolios has performed that is portfolio 2 and portfolio 3. Now, the returns will be different because the allocations you have selected is different. And here you can see that the first and second per portfolio has performed similarly. However, the third portfolio has performed a little lower. Now, if you go lower, you can also see your portfolio growth chart. That is how your portfolio would have grown over the years starting from 1st January 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20 
and similarly how much returns you have got each year so from this returns table you can find out which was your the best performing year and which was the worst performing year so this is how simple is to use our portfolio backtesting tool to find the performance or track the returns of your stock currently we have the data only since 2010 so you can perform the backtesting only from 2010 to current time but we are planning to add more data soon and secondly here we have not added the returns from the dividends we do not have the historical dividends data right now but that too we are planning to add soon so that you can get the true returns based on both capital appreciation and dividend returns so that's all for this video i hope it was useful to you and you have understood how you can use our portfolio backtesting tool go on portal.tradewinds.in and try this magnificent feature so that's all for this video if you have any feedback or suggestion do let me know by commenting below and if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button it motivates us to create more videos in future this is Kritish signing off. Happy investing.